Okay, everybody, I'm back. David here. For those who didn't see previously, I went ahead and started a video trying to compare these two barrels really quick. This is the Grimberg 9-inch A5 barrel, and this is, I guess, would be Tipman because Berna sells their TCR with this 11-inch TCR barrel, and... Grimberger has been known through the community, less lethal community, to have some really powerful barrels. Don't know what they make the barrel out of or why, but if you have the right, correct um, bore sizing, projectile sizing with the barrel, then you're going to get a whole heck of a lot of typically around 20 joules extra that you are getting out of this barrel whenever you just change it with a factory M17 or at the original one that I video I was shooting at actually was using my Tipex. So I'll post the link somewhere around here. Uh, that was showing that I started was getting 50, 50 some odd joules out of my Tipex with this one, with the 9-inch. I wasn't able to complete the test. CO2, for some reason, the puncture valve was giving me issues. So I'm just swapping out, doing the video again between the both barrels using the M17 that has the SMG Magwell, um, using the Grimberg V2s, 8 gram. 8 gram jewel V2s. You can see that. So, what we're going to be doing is now, here's the thing, guys. This is a te technically an 11 inch barrel, but let's get rid of that one inch of wasted air that comes out of the ports. You actually have about 10 inches of functional barrel versus nine. So, if these were identical barrels, yes, you will see a small increase of feet per second FPS, you know, two to seven, maybe 10 if you're lucky FPS, just because you have that one extra inch, typically not, not a lot. Um, what I'm looking for is to see how much more power we get from here to here. Guaranteed, well, should be getting more power out of this one just because it's a longer barrel. So we're going to see how much more uh, power we receive out of either one of these because I keep hearing that Berna, the TCR barrel, is fantastic, produces a whole ton of power, and that's what we want to double check to make sure. So I'm going to do the first test with seven, or at least six rounds, just to get some readings, and then I'll swap out to the TCR barrel and go from there. Stand by. Okay, guys, we're back. I do have the 9-inch Grimberg in the M17 shooting the 8-gram, uh, which is, I believe, 124 grains projectile. I am currently right now right at about that 3,000 that 3,000 PSI mark. Should be right on the dot, as a matter of fact. So I don't know how many shots we'll get out of this. Let's just see where we're at. Yes. Where is the FX crony? Sorry, sorry about that guys. I didn't realize I just kicked the tripod. Let's go ahead and mount this FX crony on here. Now the FX crony, I do prefer over using the X radar. It's a lot more precise, but the X radar is the one that everyone's basically uses how I started off being in the less lethal world. That was my very first crony. This one just seems to be a lot more accurate and it helps out keeping your hands free when you're actually doing other things. So let me go ahead and all right, there it is. I got the red dot on. Let's get the brightness on here so I don't go shooting through the hole here. All right, all let's see where she's sitting. Firing in two seconds. 273. That was a double. 200. Feed. Holy crap. 63. That wasn't good. 363. 363. 49 joules. 364. 49.3 joules. 363. 49 joules. That's about that. Guys, let's see where we're at on the pressure. I have 2,500 PSI. Don't know if you can see that or not. Right. So we're just going to swap out this barrel really quick. Let 
Now, this is what I'm looking for. Obviously, we do have a little bit less pressure air to shoot with. But we're running right about 49 joules right now, so we should be fine. Let me put this right back on here. And we'll go from there. All right, guys, now I am using the TCR barrel. And let's see where we're at with this one. Safety is off. 361. All right. 362. 361. 354. Hey guys, I think that's more than telling right now. So we'll leave it at that. Okay, according to what I have discovered here, I would say this. If we look at the string, let me just pull this whole string up if we can. If we look at the string, focus in, there we are. So it's looking like the first, other than the double shots that we got, we're starting at the 49 joules, pretty much where we're at. Right, it wasn't until down here, the 48.4 joules, where we wound up with the... 361 we swap the barrels so in all fairness guys if i'm looking at this okay we basically have the same amount of fps coming out minus the first two from 363 364 363 then we swapped the barrels and got 361 362 and 361 now mind you not only was that barrel is that barrel actually have an extra an extra inch of usable barrel. The Grimberg is a 9 inch. This is an 11 inch. By size. Of course that 1 inch at the very tip. Of course like we mentioned. Normally doesn't count because how much air escapes from there. Or it loses some air from there I should say. However. Let the numbers show. That I did have an extra 500 PSI. Also. Shooting through here. The shorter barrel. For basically the same numbers so I'm gonna call this personally flip this around all right guys well I'm gonna call that a success basically what we're able to find out is that even though even though the TCR is sold off as an 11 inch barrel and some may argue that there's actually only 10 inches of effective barrel the 9 inch Grimberg barrel is producing the same amount or more feet per second in joules of energy than the 11 inch TCR barrel basically the difference now this one did have like I said 500 psi I was at 2500 psi when I shot when I took rounds through there and this one was a full 3000 so that minimal difference I don't think is going to make too much of a huge difference as far as um, the velocity but nonetheless this is what we have here so guys I hope that clears things up for you it doesn't really matter which one you use at this stage of the game I can say that this one the TCR barrel is harder to get because you have to get it through Tipman and or you could try to get parts through Berna. It's really tough. However, it's a heck of a lot cheaper than this one. Okay, this one runs on special probably around $90 if you can get it, but typically about a hundred, give or take ten dollars to receive this one from Grimberg. And this one you can pick up from a couple people who get them online. I think DK Spencer has them out there. I have them out there. If you can find them at Tipex or on eBay, you can get these also. But they're about half, if not a third, of the price of this, giving the same exact output. The difference is, again, one is a little bigger than the other. Not by much. So I guess it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for the shortest form factor you can possibly get, 
go with Grimberg. If you're looking to have an unremovable muzzle brake uh, that comes off at the end, that's on the end, and this gives it a slightly different look, and save yourself a bunch of money at the same time, go with the Tipman TCR replacement barrel. That's it, guys. I hope you find this information useful. You do me a favor, just hit the like and subscribe button. Hit, make sure you hit that thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm, and I appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Hey, everybody. David here. So this is an addendum or a follow-up to the previous video you just seen regarding the two barrels. You have one, which is the Grimberg 9-inch barrel, the A5, and then you have the Berna TCR barrel, which is an 11-inch. So according to my numbers, as you just seen, the they come out with basically about the same fps by about four or five fps difference that's about it and the only difference at the time was that there was 500 uh psi less on an hpa tank so that shouldn't have been too big of a deal and i was about to upload the video but then i got the notification that daniel spencer dk went ahead and posted basically the same video we do that shit all the time you know, <laughs> great minds think alike. I think of something, I don't tell him, he does it, he thinks something, I do it's just, that's how it works. Um, anyways, so his numbers were quite different than mine. His numbers showed that the TCR barrel was getting about 15, about 10 to 20 FPS more, 14 to 20 FPS more after like the third, fourth shot. So I just thought it, I had to do it correctly because I was using my M17, so this time I want to use the burner like he did just to double check because I would hate to post something up that showed my numbers were wrong or his numbers are wrong. I just want to see where it was, where the difference is. Okay. So I am going to be using the eight gram Canada, right? I'm uh, sorry. The eight gram, uh, Grimbergs. I'm using the Crossman CO2, which I'm not the biggest fan of. They had a special and FX air guns. So since this Grimberg barrel is too small, I'm not going to be securing it to here, so I'm going to be holding it. Let's get the TCR barrel on so we don't start. All right, so let's get her engaged. CO2 is engaged. And let's see, get the laser at least, so it's somewhere on target. And let's go from there. Okay. And fire. Forty-eight joules. Three hundred forty-two. Three hundred twenty-one. Two hundred ninety-nine. Two hundred seventy-six. All right, that's good enough for now. Safety. Those are off. Okay, that was only a few shots. Let's see. Six shot. So let me go ahead and pause for a second. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So I went ahead and changed out the barrels back to the TCR barrel. Put a brand new CO2 cartridge in there. And I am still working off the same magazine with the Grimbergs. Okay, so once we get this. Now let's see. Actually, you know, I'm just going to maintain holding this because it seems to be working. So, let me go engage the air. She's engaged. And now let's see what she's putting out. Three hundred eighty-two. 54.1, my friends. 350. 324. Okay, well, evidently, DK's test was right. <laughs> and mine, for some reason or another, with an M17, um, I don't know why my numbers were basically close to identical. And like I said earlier, it could have been the only difference is that the tank I was working also off of when I switched into the TCR barrel had 500 PSI left. I started off at 3,000, and then when I started the next round of shots with the TCR, I was down to 2,500 PSI. In my experience, 500 PSI is not enough to cause any significant difference whatsoever, which explained the other 
you know, two to four FPS, not even joules, just FPS. So this test was conclusive with the, with the Berna TCR using a 12 gram CO2 on an average 77, 80 degree day. The TCR barrel does produce much more FPS and joules with the, at least with the Grimbergs. They're more barrel match, I guess, because Grimbergs are a little bit bigger than the Canada Riot Balls. But that's all there is. That's that's as solid as it gets. So thanks again, guys. Do me a favor. Like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.